hello everyone it's monday um yesterday's video was what happens on a sunday when you go to 99 cent day at goodwill today is what happens and you probably need therapy if you go to goodwill bins and spend 110 dollars and check out three different times so here is the haul from the goodwill bins that there is over 36 pounds of clothes jeans shirts everything in the world that's mostly some shoes and some more clothes and that bag's mostly full of shoes and some books we'll go through this pretty much a couple bags at a time and you'll get to see what happens when you spend way too much money and we'll see how it sells we're at the goodwill bins in heidelberg just to give you a view, couldn't film outside because it was raining, but this is the inside. Walk around and see what we can find. A lot of high school stuff. Yeah, look it up. I'll look them up. Go. Oh. <laughs> I have a nephew that goes here. I'll just grab that for him. Let's head to check out. Darren. Yeah, we got some organization. Here's the shoes. Oops, got it. Here is the miscellaneous junk. I will trade you. There's the clothes. Two, oh. Two books, a hard cover and a soft cover. And that is it for today. Right, 36.53. 36.53. Uh, I didn't get a chance to show you this. This is from my partner here at the bins. That's my hat. He picks up all these shoes and we Split the uh, profit. Oh, those are nice. So we'll go through these when we get a chance. Hello, everyone. We're at the Heidelberg Goodwill outlet. Unfortunately, I have to park in back and I got to wait for everybody to do their donations because you can't pass them. We'll pick this back up when we get inside. Yeah, 
guys, hang on. I'm gonna drop that one. Pirates, huh? Yeah. Morning everyone, Greg here. We're at the uh, Heidelberg, Pennsylvania Goodwill Outlet slash bins. I've got about three or four videos of this one bin in particular and I think I'm gonna lump them all together. Today I'll give you kind of an overview and then go over what we got. Usually the bin trips, depending on how long we're here, I spend anywhere from $20 on the low end and have spent as much as 130 on the high end uh, everything's by the pound so clothing is a pretty good deal if you get something heavy electronics or something they'll work with you the most you'll pay for something electronic is five dollars i once got a griswold skillet and they charged me three dollars for it which was a great deal so uh just be nice to the people here and uh they'll take care of you all right, let's get ready to go in and see what they got today. Morning. How are you today? <laughs> Hanging in there. <laughs> oh. This is it. Pretty good. <laughs> oh. Wow, this has changed. They got rid of it, I just noticed that. Maybe they're not doing the glassware or I don't know. You got me. Hopefully they're not just gonna throw it in a bin. There's a bunch of DVDs in here. I don't know what you're looking for, but I mostly pick up the games. There's some more. <laughs> what the hell? Monopoly Hotels. Mm. 
I'm gonna look that up. All right. All right, this is the Heidelberg bin. Not too many bit table changes. I think we've only had two in the last two hours, so we'll see how it goes. All right, here is the haul from the Heidelberg uh, Goodwill bins. Basically everything on the table, the eight books, were two dollars the golf clubs were two dollars and 46 cents and pretty much the calculator that everything else you see here was 1105 next we'll look at the dolls and the clothes but that's this stuff i picked up these seven books just to give it a try as like a I don't know. We'll lump them together and see if anyone's interested in a lot. The two golf clubs I'm going to take a chance on. I mean, if somebody don't buy them, I'll give them away. Uh, TI uh, calculator. This Verizon wireless uh, headset had a $99 price tag on it. Probably cost a buck. Uh, all these exercise videos I've done fairly well with. These I buy because I'll include them as like a bonus when somebody gets like a more expensive t-shirt or something else. Dr. Seuss I can't help but buy just because they're trying to ban it. Uh, Beditsu. This purse was kind of neat looking. It had with the leather and everything like that. So I don't know. I don't know if it's men's, women's bag or whatever. But we'll figure that out and sell it. Uh, this is a peak antifreeze uh, flashlight. I'm going to throw that in one of the cars. This is like a weather waterproof type radio. I don't know what I'll do with that. Just another little AM FM battery operated radio with an antenna. This is a plug in, and then you put it somewhere and it's wireless. So I'm going to test that out, and if I can't sell it, we'll use it for Christmas lights. This is just some jewelry I picked up. I haven't even looked through it yet to see if any of it's worth anything or junk. <laughs> anyway, a New York uh, City uh, keychain. An Epson printer still see uh, ink still sealed. We'll take a look at when it expired and everything else. Uh, these two, I include them with like the dolls and stuff like that. I don't know who Blossom Bucket is, but I'm sure we'll find that. This clock is still new, open box. Same with the LED wireless. Uh, we're in an apartment, so it really doesn't do us any good, but somebody might be able to use it. All right, next we'll go through the clothes and the uh, doll lot. All right, here we have a cabbage patch doll lot and for basically $6.34. I thought it was worth taking a chance. I know nothing about them. I know some of them have some dates in the 80s and I don't know, 2000 first edition 1990 and this one's pretty nasty clothing I can't tell if that's just dirt or blood or whatever but it's gonna need a bath so, like I said, I have no idea what these will go for, but uh, we're going to give it a shot. Alright, this is the last little bit, and this was 11 pounds of clothes for $13.90. So, let's see what we got. I had some Wrangler jeans with the, uh, I don't know if they call that the stretch inseam or stretch uh, waistline. He's New York Sassoon. I like the design, so I buy it. You know, some Tommy Hilfiger skinny jeans. Uh, this Woolrich still new with tags, had $50, so for a buck, I don't care. I'll take a chance. I like these type of shirts, this HB Sports. Uh, really don't know what sport it is, I guess, surfing. I'm not sure. We got a Disney Toy Story long sleeve shirt. Uh, Billabong long sleeve. And a U.S. Coast Guard search and rescue. And I think it's, uh, yeah, Naval Way Station uh, Clearwater. 
uh, Stanford Cardinals hoodie. A pair of Nike. Uh, what are these? Nike Flex. Not too bad a shape. Probably a buck. Ruger hat. These little wash. And a uh, Hagen FW Series 3 head cover. I don't know. Hopefully somebody needs one. All right. And that wraps up the uh, Goodwill Bins trip. Like I said, total spend, $37.28. So all in all, it was pretty good. The rest of the video is going to be a bunch of different bins trips, some haul videos from just regular Goodwills, and just a bunch of stuff I'm putting together. Hope you enjoy it, and uh, thanks for watching, and uh, subscribe if you don't mind. Have a great day.